All right, well, two days in, uh, how, how much more familiar are you guys with, with Coach Bresky's system this year than you were at, at this point last year? Not much more familiar. We've been through two spring balls and whole fall season, so hey, we're a lot more familiar with everything and knowing the scheme, knowing the calls on the playbook. Does, does that make practice a little easier? You don't have to, to, to relearn the same things that you were doing last year, and you can just kind of go through it and, and, and continue to improve without having to, to, to reteach lessons and things like that? Yeah, well, yeah it was definitely, definitely goes a lot smoother now. But are you still need a refresher every now and then? So, yeah. Uh, obviously, you guys lose a, a, a bunch of experienced linebackers, Brock and, and Mark. Is, is it different without those guys in the field this year? I guess it's different. We miss them, but we're going to be all right. Yeah. Hey, we'll be just fine. What, 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 are you, what are you noticing out of, out of Kaden Ellis? He played a lot last year. He's kind of the, the leader of that crew in, in terms of game, game experience. I, I, he's, he's only a sophomore, but what kind of leadership has, you, has, has, he, has he shown? Oh, yeah, great leadership. Yeah, Kaden and Tony. Both have great leadership and D line yeah, coming from all, all sides of the ball for all position groups. Caden doesn't doesn't really seem to be uh, you know as much of a vocal leader. Do you, do you think he kind of more leads by example? Is, is that yeah, his style? Yeah, leads by hustling around and doing his assignment well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but Tony, he's a good vocal leader and he definitely leads by hustling around too. So that's what you want out of pretty much all these leaders. You need them to lead vocally and with their effort. So, yeah. With Coach Purcell this year, you guys have, have two linebackers coaches. Do, does that give you guys more individual attention and you can kind of work more with the coach than, than you were last year? Yeah, we get a lot of individual time. Like our uh, outside linebackers would go with Coach, coach uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Brown. <laughs> yeah, Coach Brown just went away from me. And um, we go Coach Purcell, we split it up and do our own things, get better with our individual positions. I know a lot of people look at this team and they're talking about the offense and the playmakers you guys have, have on that side of the ball. Why do you think the defense can be special this year too? Oh, we're going to be special. We, we, we just know it. I mean, that's just what we've been doing. We've been here all summer working hard, working hard all last year. We know the system now. And we're just flying around. We changed the whole model of the defense and everything. So now we hustle. Individual ball. Limit. Individually, what, what are you doing? Uh, what, what have you done over the summer and throughout the offseason to improve? And, and what, what are you kind of trying to hone in on this, this offseason? Well, you just learn the playbook more. I just learn the playbook more and basically just worked on technique. Mm -hmm. Did you find yourself able to, to work on technique more that you don't, that you, you know, you, you know so much of the playbook as it is and you can kind of focus on yourself more than, than, than learning the plays well, and the schemes? We don't really focus on ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, but it's always team first, so. That's what we do around here. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you.